Is the momentum of the golf ball conserved during the collision? Is the momentum of the golf ball affected by its encounter with the steel plate? Yes. Yes. Thankfully, yes. Okay. So, <clears throat> does the golf ball, what happens to the momentum of the golf ball? Does it disappear? Who gets it? The steel plate, and if the steel plate is tied to the earth, the earth gets it, but the earth is very sluggish compared to the golf ball. We're not really sensible of the change in the motion of the earth caused by the golf ball smashing its brains out against the steel plate. <clears throat> So in a collision such as this, there are whopping forces that come into play that, as you saw, deformed the golf ball. So we define impulse. It's typically used in a collision process, but the general definition of impulse is the change in the momentum of some object. So impulse i, which will be a function of time. So if we look at the blue ball, its momentum is constant. Then it encounters the red ball, and its momentum drops precipitously. It comes to rest. Meanwhile, the red one undergoes sort of the mirror image. It's initially at rest, and any momentum that was lost by the blue ball is gained by the red since momentum is conserved during this collision. And how violent the collision is depends on how long it took for them to change places. We, that, and that's an important quantity, especially if you choose to get into an automobile accident. Uh, you would like to prolong the joy of that experience so that you get longer to change your momentum. And therefore, the forces on you aren't quite so drastic, which is why airbags are so helpful. We'll talk about that a little bit more next time. So for today, the center of mass is a special point on an object because it moves particularly simply. And we can calculate the position of the center of mass by taking the first moment of the mass and then dividing by all the mass. So when we have an extended object, that means chopping it up in the right sorts of bits so that over the bits, the position, the coordinate that you're integrating over, is a constant over the whole bit. So we saw a couple of examples about how to do that. And next time, we're going to get into this idea of force, which quantifies the rate at which the momentum of some object is changing. <laughs>